Today I'm going to be showing you how to get shaped bokeh in your videos. Having shaped bokeh can really add an element of style to your video, and it's really easy to achieve. For those of you who don't know what bokeh is, bokeh is the out of focus part of your image, and if there's lights in the out of focus part of your image, they become big orbs. This is because the out of focus lights take on the shape of your aperture. If you change the shape of your aperture, you're going to change the shape of your lights. So here's what you'll need to get shaped bokeh. Scissors, a pencil, an exacto knife, paper. I personally went out and bought some poster board instead of paper because it's a little bit more durable and will last longer. And lastly, you're going to need some tape. Altogether, this should only cost you around $5, but I'm sure you'll have some of these supplies at home. The first thing you're going to want to do with these supplies is cut a strip of paper that's about as thick as your lens. This is going to wrap around your lens and form a base for our cutouts that'll shape the bokeh. For this piece, all you're going to have to do is tape the two ends together. Next, you'll cut out a circle the size of your lens. You can do as many of these as you would like. I personally did three for three different cutouts. On these cutouts, you're going to draw the shape you want the bokeh to become. One thing to keep in mind is you don't want these shapes to be too large or too small because it won't shape the bokeh correctly. If you are struggling to get the shape right, you can always Google templates of hearts, stars, or trees. This is what I did for the heart and the star, so I knew the shape would turn out correctly. I'll put the two I used in the description below, and you just print them out, trace the shape, and then you use the X-Acto knife to cut that shape out. Once you have your cutouts, it's simple to put together. You're gonna tape the cutout to the base you created earlier, and then you're going to slide this in front of your camera. After that, it's time to adjust your settings. Now it's really simple to be able to notice the bokeh. All you have to do is lower your aperture. So you'll want to bring your aperture down as low as you can to see the shapes in your bokeh. For me personally, I'm shooting on a 50mm 1.8, so I brought it down all the way to 1.8. Your aperture doesn't have to be this low, but you do want one that's usually around 4 or lower. Because you are shooting through a smaller opening, like the tree for example, you're going to have less light in your shots, so you may need to add a light to your shot or lower your aperture more. So just remember to put your aperture as low as you can and adjust your ISO so you can light it correctly. So once you've filmed the shot you're happy with, you may be wondering why it doesn't look exactly how you want it to. When it comes to getting the best results with shaped bokeh, it's important to keep editing in mind. For example, here's a before and after of a few shots I've taken. As you can see, there's a big difference between them. So when you're editing your shot, just play around because you can change the colors and the look of your bokeh pretty easily. As you can see here, there are some shadows, but we need to bring it down to make the hearts stand out. If you look at the shot beforehand of the hearts, you'll see that they weren't actually red or pink. This was done in editing. And all I did to get this effect was bring the highlights all the way up to the color I wanted them to be. For example, you could do all red hearts like this, or you could do any other color you want. So after that, you are set. It may take a few times to get the shapes to look exactly like you want, but once you're happy with your cutouts and you know how to adjust them, you'll get great results. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I make new videos every Saturday that focus on filmmaking and photography. And I'll see you guys next week.